Can I taste your juice? Hey folks, P. Basardo. Um, it's been a while. We haven't hung out in a while, so let's uh, let's have a vape, and then we'll uh, we'll get into it. It's not going to be a review video, uh, but I do have a lot of stuff to uh, to share with you in this video. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to edit this on the fly, so I'm not sure if this is going to be just a single part or a two parter. We'll find out as we go. Vaping on this little Inican pebble right here. This might be the next review, and then I want to take a look at that uh, that dagger mod from Vo Tech uh, because I do like the automatic temperature control on that one. Um, just a little heads up: if you guys enter the contest, especially the stocking contest, okay, um, you might want to stick around till the end of this video, be it all in one video or the end of the second part. Uh, because I'm going to make at least uh, 24 of you guys all excited and happy again, okay? So stick around for that. But in the meantime, let's go back. Let's go back to China. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering how we got that footage, we uh, we strapped uh, Dan Donahue to the uh, the bottom of the plane, and he got it for us. Ah, ah poor Dan, uh, the the brunt of of much of the uh, the ball busting in China. But uh, what a great guy and a good soul to uh, Dan of Good Karma Vapor. So, what was the purpose of uh, of this trip to China? It was primarily for a Seven USA meeting, but also to uh, to gain some additional support from uh, more companies for Seven USA. And uh, you try to get more uh, Chinese funding for our fight against uh, the uh, the FDA in uh, these here United States of America. So that was uh, the primary goal. But uh, also, while we were there, we were able to get into a few more factories. And we wanted to share all that with you. Um, I would love to tell you that this is going to be like earth shattering. And you've never seen any of this before. If you've seen the other Chinese uh, or the China videos that we've put out, um, it's going to all look very, very familiar to you. So really nothing nothing earth shattering, uh, but a look inside a few more companies. So let's kick off the tour with the uh, the makers of this little pebble right here, uh, Inikin, okay? Because Inikin has um, some new office space. Inikin has uh, some new clean room space in their factory. And Inikin has a, a, an all new Paul. So let's check out Inikin first. So basically, that's, that's fine. Right, that area there, and you can see the whole over the next three years, this whole area is going to be leveled. It's all going to be new buildings like this. I'm a lady. It's all, all these buildings have been up in the last three years. So this area, like four years ago, used to be like that. All this is like that. I used to live around the So tell us about this new facility. So how long has you have you guys been here? Since October. Since October? Okay, and um, what's what's housed in this right now? So what parts of it again are, are being... Uh, right now we've got R&D, we've got the engineers, and we've got international marketers here, and then some sales, a bunch of designers, packaging, and graphic as well. Right. <laughs> and this is the new improved uh, Paul from Minigan. You, right. look, you look amazing. Dude. Thank you. Amazing. 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 The, uh, no, he looks amazing, yeah, no, he and he's making us look really, really bad. Is what he does. He's making us look really, really bad. We're trying to look We're trying to have and she's bringing us chocolates. That's, That's an addition. Oh, my God. All right, hey, Paul, you eat three, we'll eat one. Go ahead. <laughs> so this is fantastic. Who would have ever thought, like, a golf course in China, right? That's got to be expensive. I mean, yeah. with real estate being what it is. Yeah, right? And it runs all the way down there to the bay. So along the bay there, there's a boardwalk that can go all the way up. That's really beautiful. And who would have thunk that China is actually this close to uh, Paris? There's the uh, Eiffel Tower right there in the background. Oh, look, <laughs> look, look, look to the left as well, too, uh, uh, Phil. What's to the left? Look to the left. There's a Swedish. <laughs> Ikea. Oh, Ikea. We'll <laughs> have meatballs afterwards. Oh, look, well, yeah. There is an Ikea over there. Where's the Walmart? Walmart's on the other side of half the Is there a Walmart? <laughs> yeah, there's Walmart on the other side over there. Yeah, for sure. Ironically, everything made in the USA. No, no. The Walmart in China, everything's made yes. in the USA? Yes. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so that's their new office space, okay? And you heard there's like some sales, some management there. Uh, some uh, some design work, some of the engineers are in that new facility. But it's completely different from the or, or com in a completely different building from the factory. So we did go back to the factory as well uh, because they have a new clean room facility there. 
And in the new clean room facility, that's where they're making all of their tanks and their coils and things like that. As a matter of fact, they're going to expand the clean room facility to include the entire factory. So all of the uh, the Indica devices are going to be made underneath or, or under the, uh, the the conditions that you're about to see right now. I'm you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that definitely wasn't here last time. <laughs> It's like hospital cleaning in here. My phone or your phone? You could do them on your phone. We'll, we'll transfer them. Kiki, huh? how do you feel about Dimitri? Do you like Dimitri? <laughs> sure. Sure? Yeah, what, yeah, no, I'm, wait, who do you... Can I, can I yes. ask her? Who, no, well, yes. Go, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, well, if you had to choose yes. huh? between Dimitri and Mr. Phil, yes. obviously, who would you why, choose? Why I needed to choose? Can, can I choose both? That's very politically because, correct. Because, yeah. because their brothers cannot take her part. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Very good, Kiki. Right. Good job. <laughs> So George, this is the uh, the new area here. What what's being manufactured in this area? Uh the tanks and the coils. Tanks and coils. Yes, yes. So you moved all tank and coil uh, production into this clean area here. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. yeah. And let's ask the question because I have you on camera, and the, you know this is one of the comments that we get most often when I show videos like this. Yeah. So we have a clean room and they're very very well protected, but they still don't have gloves on. Right? Well, I just talked to you know the the production uh, manager. He says some coils, if you put in a glove, will be stick together. It's not so fast. Okay, to so production. it actually slows down production. Yeah, production, and everybody here is uh, to clean, uh, wash your hands. Like okay, completely. Okay. so they, everybody yeah. cleans up before they, they go right, into this right, area. Right. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. It's very impressive. Yeah, thank I mean, you. Thank you. Probably, I, I, the floors, you guys should see these floors. I mean, it's like a hospital quality in here. And even the ceilings, right? The ceilings are um, it's is a special a kind of ceiling. Very standard GMP clean room. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very standard GMP Yeah, very standard, room. very high standard. Yeah. Very high standard. Yeah, yeah. Clean room, yeah. uh, we want, you know, first of all, you know, we want uh, quality, mm -hmm. and you know, to get everything here is, is you know, every every lot of coils tanks will be more standard and quality, okay. and they be good, and also can get uh, more employees come here. Before, maybe we only get like uh, 200, but now we can get uh, 300 employees here to okay. get together. So you've expanded the area. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, this is very different from the other, you know, Inican uh, factory areas that we've seen. It's really, really impressive here. Oh. So did you, you said that you're going to do the, the very similar on the other floors as yeah, well? Yeah, now we, you know, we get tanks and the coils to the GMP, the clean room, we apply in to do another floor, okay. also the same, like this one. Okay. Yeah. I tell you what, this is one of the cleanest floors I've ever seen in yeah, China, no I'll be honest with no you. Doubt. So is there a process that uh, that the employees have to go through before they enter the room? Yes, yes. They will see, you know, have a lot of, you know, they change clothes, shoes, wear the mask, is, you know, the walk. Yeah, have a lot of uh, process before the end okay. the key rule. And a lot of a lot of Americans say that this is a lot of this is just like a, they call it a dog and pony show. In other words, when Dimitri and I leave, all the jackets come off, all the hairnets come off, the masks come off. This is only for show. Is that is that true or is no? This no, that, that's not. We're never having anything. We do everything. No matter you come here or not here, every, every day the same. Every day the same. Every day the same. Okay. Yeah. okay. Here that close. 
Automatic. Yeah, automatic. Okay. And who, this one is the finished products. For here, you need to like one day with to sanitize it. I mean, oh, okay. uh, yeah, you need to make sure. It's so finished products go in this room for yeah, a day yes, yeah, and yes. they get sanitized in there right, right. and then they come out of the room. Right, right, right. Now what about raw materials that go into the room? Is it similar? Here is the oh, here's materials. where they go in? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You can see to the right there's a door where the product comes yeah. in. Yeah. That's what you see, that's all I Can I go in? Yeah, 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 please. Okay, so this is where the materials come in. Yeah, so there you go. So you need to transfer transfer from here to, to go inside. Okay. Yeah. But you get it, you go if I see some some kidding. So you're gonna have similar clean room facilities even for the uh, the, 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 the devices? The devices, yes. Yeah, so really? we're to do yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is how the uh, Dimitri comes in. But yeah. He, uh, <laughs> unfortunately he got That's stuck in there for a week. <laughs> I was sanitized when I came out. You were That's fully sure. sanitized, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what is that? So how, let's do that first. And what does that say? That means stand for no quality, no future. Good. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I looked it up on Google Translate. And what is it? Demetri is sexier than Phil. Is that what it says? <laughs> oh. So there you go, uh, back to Indigan to see some of the uh, the changes that they've made, the new office space, uh, some of the continuous improvements that they're making. And uh, by the way, the uh, gentleman that we were talking to there is uh, Indigan George. Uh, if you don't know him, uh, what, what, are, what a super nice guy. He's got a great sense of humor. He does really good uh, with English, and he is one of the uh, the partners over there at Indigan. So uh, thank you very much to uh, George, James, Paul, and everybody over at Indigan for inviting us back uh, to see some of the changes there. So now we leave uh, Inikin and we go to Aspire. Uh, not to the Aspire factory, you guys have seen that, but this year we were invited to attend the Aspire, I guess you could call it a New Year holiday family party celebration type thing, right? Um, from what I understand, it's actually a three-day event. Uh, day one is a lot of training and meetings with the employees. Day two is this celebration or party that you're about to see. Uh, day three, they actually travel around and do team building uh, activities, okay? So this is the, uh, the holiday party on day two. So these really are kind of interesting parties and they really are uh, a bit of a crash course in Chinese culture. Uh, we did get flowered up on our way in. You get a flower? Yeah. Usually I give you flowers. You're going to dance waiting, that's why I am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is he ripping on you again? Yeah. yeah. You know, and he almost got a I'm in the wedding, party. wedding here. You're the wedding party? The flowers uh, yeah, absolutely. I saw a bunch of brides earlier. I should have grabbed yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Phil, here's yours. Oh, no. Oh, Dan now. No. Dan? Hi. I'm Dan. <laughs> And now let's take a look at kind of the opening ceremony. So after that, a bunch of speeches. Uh, Tony, the owner of Aspire, uh, gave a speech, uh, followed by Alan, uh, Tony's partner. He gave a speech, uh, and then they invited Brian. You've met Brian before in these videos. Uh, Brian and Tony are actually uh, really good friends. They have a lot of history, so they had Brian go up on stage and say a few words, too. Now, as far as I know, because I don't speak Chinese, uh, Brian was the, actually the, the only one who mentioned uh, anything about like kind of tobacco harm reduction in the few words that he said to the crowd. It's famous around the world, so what you do people all over the world use this product and this product has helped millions of people stop smoking and lead a better life 
And Brian did something uh, cool later on in the night too. They do drawings and, and giveaways uh, all night long during the course of the event. Uh, Brian actually won the like top award. It was a cash prize uh, and he did put his name back in the box and he had them redraw for another Aspire uh, employee. So thumbs up on that one, Brian. And then the uh, the rest of the night, pretty much what you would do at, uh, at a regular party, uh, food, festivities, drinking, and performances. Uh, lots of performances. Um, but what they do is a lot of the the employees will get together and they'll put together skits or performances or, or dance routines or singing routines. Uh, and that goes on uh, through the course of the night up on stage as they continue to do the, the prizes and the giveaways. And as we continue to bust on Dan. Dan, are you moved? Anya, oh, Anya? This is every night. Yeah. I don't even have a napkin, but I'm sure it's here. It's okay. <laughs> Ah yes, uh, Dan did fall in love many times that night. Now we did see some new product from Aspire, okay? I actually have a device and a tank sitting in front of me right now. Unfortunately, I am not permitted to show you yet, but uh, right after Chinese New Year, uh, this is going to hit the market, and I do think it's going to be a hit for them, uh, and I do wish them a lot of success with it. Now we did see another product that I can show you. Not sure how much of a success this is going to be. Uh, take a look and tell me what you think. It's the latest innovation in Shenzhen Mouthpiece, okay. And it's not as wide as the other mouthpiece. It's got a really nice tight draw on it. Uh, it just kind of designed for a sits right on the tank, just like that. It's got great. great. It's really it's excellent. I highly recommend a thumbs up. How about we give it a little try? I think I just did. No, like actually put it and suck it in the mouth. Seriously. <laughs> So there you go, a little look at the Aspire family holiday party or family New Year party to Tony, Alan, Brian, and everybody there at Aspire. Uh, we certainly do appreciate the invitation, allowing us to be a part of it, and allowing us to share it with all of you. Thank you, guys. Tony, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! All right, so I already know what some of you guys are thinking. Uh, we're on the other side of the planet laughing it up while the industry... Uh, crumbles here in the States, or at least is in uh, serious jeopardy. Now, I can assure you that when it becomes time to get serious, uh, we do get very, very serious. And we stress to all of the manufacturers there and everybody that we met with uh, how important it is to have their support, um, financially especially, because unfortunately in the States, uh, that's how things work. That's how things get done, money. Uh, it's all about money and we're going to need uh, as much as we can get to continue this fight. And it was a little bit of a different experience this time going to China from, from the other times that we went. Um, the other times it was all about product and ideas and, and you know, what's coming out and what's the next thing. Uh, this time it was all about um, TPD and PMTA and FDA and all these acronyms that I just don't want to be bothered with. So it was th there was a definite change in in the thoughts uh and the things that we heard there uh they are taking it very seriously now of course i think we're taking it seriously for two different reasons uh you know i take it very seriously because i'm about tobacco harm reduction and converting smokers and getting people off of the cigarettes uh they're taking it very seriously because they want to continue to do business in america i mean that that that, that makes sense right they want to make money i want to save lives uh together we can get together and have a common goal which is to save the industry so that leads us to the uh the sevia usa meeting the meeting was held at the smoke facility uh, I did a little presentation. I, I showed a video of some batteries exploding, uh, letting them know 
uh, how bad that is making the the industry look. As a matter of fact, if you go to YouTube right now and you in the search field you type e-cig, I think the first thing that appears underneath it is e-cig exploding. Uh, it, it's not good for us. You know, and I don't think that it's the, the 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 cause of the products. Okay, I think it's user error probably ninety five percent of the time. But every time we see one of those videos, it's just it's not good for us. Okay, and we need to figure out a way to take the error out of the hands of the user so that this this doesn't continue i also talked about coils and better labeling labeling on the box on the inner package on the coil itself uh, a lot of that for the most part is, is happening but I, I still think there needs to be a lot of improvement there i also urge the uh, the need for kind of a universal color scheme for all the different kinds of coil materials just to make it easier to see visually um of course i thank them for their continued support and stress that we we need uh their continued support uh dimitri talked about uh financials for sevia usa and talked about uh all of the regulation stuff that he knows a lot better than i do so that sevia usa logo that you see back there a lot of the manufacturers who are part of sevia usa are starting to put that logo on their packaging so at least know that if you do buy a product and you do see the sevia usa logo on it um, that manufacturer is involved in helping us in our fight against these overreaching fda regulations but even there even there just know that there's a little bit of a moral dilemma there with me because uh, some of these very manufacturers who are supporting our cause, who are members of Sevilla USA, are releasing product that um, will probably attract unwanted attention. So uh, we, we did kind of talk to them about that a little bit as well, but that's kind of a, a, a touchy subject, but at least know, at least know that that is going on up there. All right, uh, Smoke, uh, I still think of them as Smoke Tech, but anyway, Smoke, uh, like I said, that's where the uh, the meeting was held at their facility. Now, we didn't get to see the production areas, but uh, I at least grabbed the opportunity to uh, to show you guys around the offices a little bit. Okay, so what do we have? This is the engineering department. Okay, so this is the Smoke Engineering Department yeah, in here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> This is a sales department? Okay. Yeah, sales department and uh, the IT. IP? Oh, IT. IT, IT yes, department. Okay. They work for the website. Ah, okay. It's a big, big facility. Big, big building. Thank you. Before the offer, uh, we also buy another bigger office. Okay. In here? Also the uh, engineer. Another engineering, another engineering department? Engineer. Okay. Uh, some engineers ha uh, go to the factory. Some engineers work at the factory. Yes. Yeah. Okay. A design the package. Oh, oh, branding, branding department. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, branding. okay, design. Okay, branding and design. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and this, this is where the big bosses are. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Big Let's go say. Let's we'll say hello to Mike real quick. Okay. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye, bye. Uh, you. Thank you very much. Legal department here? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, human resource department. Human resources? Yeah. Okay. That's financial department. So we have human resources here. Hello. <laughs> it's the financial department yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The legal department here. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. And here's our lobby. And then right off of the uh, the lobby was, I guess you could call it the uh, the customer presentation area where they display all of their products. Uh, I would say it was probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, ones that we've seen in China. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Four ways, sir. All Very impressive, huh? I wonder if that one tank that we got that one time. Huh? Oh, those yeah, are all the, the patents? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, so, everything is the, all the, for the other patents. Okay, so these aren't certificates. These are patents. Yeah. Yes. How many, how many patents total does Smoke uh, hold? Maybe over to the 100. Okay. Over 100. Yes. There's all the... Still have a lot of underweight. Yeah, we have the, uh, the best yeah. tank yeah. and yeah. the best, yeah. best mode. Yeah. Yeah. Best mode. Yeah. 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 
All right, so that's a little bit of Sevilla USA. That's a little bit of smoke. And now we're going to take a look at a little bit of Sigeli. Um, here's a factory that we haven't been to before. Uh, it's, a, it's a relatively new factory. As a matter of fact, they moved to this new facility. The way I understood it was about half a year ago. And it's also in a nicer area. Uh, it's a little bit more of a rural area. As a matter of fact, I filmed a little bit when we were driving from Sigeli to Yihi or Yihai, uh, which are pretty close together. And you can kind of see that here. Since that last edit, this is day three of working on this video. Day three. All right, so when we did go to uh, Sigeli, we met with Mr. U. Uh, Mr. U is the, the owner of Sigeli, and we, we did have a conversation with him about, um, you know, products and safety and all that kind of stuff that we talk about when we're there. And um, we did talk to him about uh, Sevilla USA. But that, my friends, is going to be a tough nut to crack because there is some, uh, some imagine that, drama in Vapeland. Uh between some of the, the different competing organizations there. So uh, we are going to continue to try to get Sigeli on board. We welcome them on board to Sevilla USA, and hopefully uh, they'll think about joining the uh, the organization. But they were nice enough to uh, to show us around the company and give us a tour. Uh, we saw a little bit of the, uh, the 213 mini production. Also, what is it? The Swallowtail, their new Swallowtail um device oh i have one i should i should get it i should get it for you and hold it up on the camera and i have it now there it is the uh, the sigeli uh swallowtail uh, it's gonna be a 75 watt device uses a single 18650 battery and um it, it's a resin mod right so it's like stabilized wood but without the wood part uh so they all have like this unique kind of swirly look different colors uh they have like speckled versions and everything it's just a little for a single 18650 device, it's a little fat. It's, it is a little bit fat. And speaking of a little bit fat, nice seg segue, Phil. Um, th there is some hilarity that ensues uh, as we go into uh, Sigeli and we uh, suit up. Always, uh, always a challenge suiting up um, with uh, some of the sizes that they have there in China. Although um, this wasn't a 6X this time, like like I was uh, greeted with at the uh, the Vaporesso. This was an XL, XL, and XL in, in, in China is a little bit small. But um, we'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see this. We'll see some other stuff, and we'll see it all at Sigeli. <laughs> that is going to be very, very small. Oh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's a machine that's, that's hurting. Oh, stop. <laughs> what the wrong? Oh, it's so the machine, so is that me? <laughs> By the way, I, I'm a pro, we're pros at that. We are, we are. Okay, so what is this area here? This is all our sales team here. Okay. Okay, but this is our finance team. Finance? Yes, and this is sales? Yeah, these are all sales. What, what, what are they? Purchasing. Purchasing? Yeah. This is manager. Manager's office. Yeah. And this factory is pretty new. You've just recently moved here? Yeah, we moved here for uh, half a year. Half a year, okay. Yeah, half a year. And this is the ping pong area. Yeah. yeah. Very important. <laughs> and Bella, what is your role here? Are you sales? Not really. <laughs> what do you I do? Mean, What's your job? Like, Something like marketing. <laughs> Something like marketing? It's yeah. uh, reviewer, reviewer relations, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So this is where the employees come. They'll change, they'll put their clothes here. They change their shoes to the uh, little sandals that you see. And uh, they wash up as well. In a minute, I'll give you all the fits. Oh, okay, okay. I hope they have something that fits us. Fits us. You have anything? You think that? What are the, no what are the odds? That's the end. No way. Yeah. Yeah, even try it on. <laughs> okay, since, since, since you did it to me the last time, it's your turn this time. It's about to explode. Here we go. Just, just don't let the button hit you in the eye. <laughs> I should protect the lens from the button. <laughs> Holy shit, no. That's not going to fit. It's so small? Yeah, it's small. small. But, no, I think it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, no. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, yeah. That's good. If I can look like, <laughs> like I shrunk him in the laundry. <laughs> yeah, Don't show me. Put yours on. Let me see it. Here. Uh, 
All right, uh, here we go. So you laughed about that. Let's see what yours, what yours look like with your big old yeah. chest and your neck. Suck it in. There's no There's not enough suckage. <laughs> it's a, I don't want to put it in. Okay, all right, here we go. See? <laughs> it's not happening. Oh, yeah, that's no, not good. No, no, no. That's not good. Not good. All right, here we that's go. That's not a good sign. Okay. I don't know. Oh, you got it. It fits. It fits. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go up here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks great on you, by the way. That's fantastic. Oh, let me put my shirt down a little bit. You look like a like a scientific experiment gone wrong. That's exactly what you look like. Let's look at this both in the mirror here. Hey, come on, come back, son. Look. Look, look how good we look. Oh, my God, look at this. <laughs> I think I could button one. No, I you can't. can't. No. No, I think I can. <laughs> I think I can. Don't break. No, no. <laughs> break. I got it. All right. <laughs> huh. It's perfect. Oh, the air shower. Okay. Love the air oh, shower. Yeah. Can we go in together? Oh, yeah. Oh, all of us together. Oh, everybody. There's a surprise. Yeah, we're ready. We'll be close to the door. We're ready. Oh, we're fine. We, <laughs> no. we can sit here. Oh. Oh. Now, all the employees go through this? Yes, oh, everybody. Oh, everybody. Okay. Yes, everybody. And they need to wear the office. You need to wear the outfit. Yeah. yeah. And also the hat. Very, very comfortable in this outfit, by the way. It is extremely. The, comf yeah. uh, the outfit looks good. Okay, so you have room for a lot more capacity. Yes. And all of your all of your products are made on this floor? Every, all of them? Uh, not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. Okay. This line, okay. it is for the electric, for example, the chips. For the boards? Yeah, for the boards. Okay. And what product is being made here? 213 Mini. 213 Mini, okay. So all the, everything starts from here. All the production starts from the board yeah. before it goes down. And the test is, you cannot see the real test because the test is all the physical things. Okay, I understand. You can't see the actual testing of the board yeah. in this line here. Mm -hmm. So here they're testing the board before it goes out, make sure yeah. the board is where it turns on and everything. Test three at a time here. These ladies are etching something here. Firmware upgrading, yep. Yeah. Right, right, right. Every has single is, one. Yeah, has is up, uh, up, upgrade system, but we do not open to the public. Ah, okay. This is SOT. So they're assembling the uh, the battery complex and adding all the uh, the battery components to the board here.
pressing the connection for the for the top. Yeah, top cap. She'll take the top cap, put it on the top of the device, put the screws in, and then this woman actually screws them in. That's her job all day long. Two tiny little screws. This is just kind of a visual quality check right here, just looking over the device, feeling the buttons and everything, yeah? It's for the uh, testing for the appearance the, whether it is uh, qualified. Right, if there's anything visually wrong with it, yes. it stops there. Correct. So now you test function. Yeah. So everyone everyone gets a battery. Everyone you make sure that it lights up, you make sure that it the button works and everything. Okay. Every single one, yeah. That's, that's what I really do. That's, that's what we do. I like this one. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Yeah, So not only do you make sure that they light up, you make sure that they actually do something. You're actually firing a coil over here. Which, uh, which color does your wife like, Dimitri? Say it again. Pink. Now, be honest. Is it for? <laughs> it's for Kanye. It really Are you is. Sure. Right. Yeah, I like blue. I don't like pink. I know everybody thinks I like pink, thanks to this guy behind the camera over here. But Liar. it's not true. <laughs> it's actually really nice looking. So it's the uh, the M seventy seven from Sigeli. So seventy seven watt device. Yeah, I had assuming right. Single eighteen six fifty battery. Single eighteen six fifty battery. Oh, this is so the material is resin. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So these are these are not stabilized wood, but they are yeah. resin and they are all unique. Very, yeah, they are. They're very nice looking. So when when a consumer orders that, right? Because I mean, does the consumer get to choose the color? No. No, they, they don't. No, no, whatever they, they get. We have the special package. It's it's uh, uh it's you can see the appearance. Yeah. It's you can. Yeah. Oh, you can see, oh. Just in the, yeah, okay. the plastic clear. clear. Yeah, okay. you can you can see which one inside okay. the color. Okay. So if you were to buy it in a shop. You're gonna be you're able. Say, you're gonna be able to choose your color. Yeah. There's a display. They're right. open. You can see through the clear plastic and choose the one that you want. Online, there's gonna be a little challenge. It's gonna be a little bit, a little of, bit of a challenge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is what the package looks like. Yeah. yeah. So when people, uh, you know, they see this in a in a shop, they are definitely gonna be able to choose their color. Online, definitely a bit more of a challenge. Before everything goes out the, in the manufacturing line, they yep. test for one time and uh, for the quality control department, they will check for the second time. So it's like a double check. A double, double check, check. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can see all the packaging materials here and the boxes and all the manuals. Okay, so they start assembly on the packaging here, and I'm standing right underneath the air conditioning. And I'm not going to move for a little while, so I'm, we're just going to film this person for the next half hour. So th these are the authenticity stickers here. Yeah. 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 Big problem in China, people clone, copy, yeah. right? even your devices. Uh -huh. Now again, the, um, the outfits that you wear, okay? It's not just for show. I mean, you, you do this every day. It's not just when customers are here. Of course not. Of course not. Every day. Every they, day. They need. Yeah. You see the color is different? The color is different, So the yeah. blue one is uh, kind of like worker. And the pink one is for the quality. Quality. Yeah. Yep. So they needed to wear every day. Okay. And yes. what about white? White. 
Well, it's for the engineers, okay. for the the, uh, the colleagues and the stairs and the stairs. Okay. Yeah, like you visitor. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah all yeah. white. Okay. So yeah, you say uh, that that one. Yeah. And also that one is kind of like the leader of the, the leader, wine, wine, yeah. wine boss. So this one uh, stands for like a little high, higher grade. Yeah, higher exactly. Level. Sure. Yes. Okay. So that's a meaning for what we wear. Okay. Now this is the final product here. Hot off the presses. So there you go, a, uh, a look inside Sigeli. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. U and Bella and that uh, that other uh, engineer that was showing us around. I don't remember her name. Um, but uh, we appreciate the look, and uh, thank you for allowing us to share that with uh, all of you. Okay, so we are moving on. Uh, we are leaving Sigeli, and we are driving a short distance to Yihi, or is it Yihai? Uh, I actually had a conversation with uh, Carrie. Carrie is a sales manager uh, there at Yihai, and the correct pronunciation is actually Yi hai, um, but they do acknowledge the fact that people say it both ways, and that's just a okay with them. So, who else did we meet at Yi hai? Uh, we met Carrie. She's a sales manager. We met Joyce. Uh, Joyce is actually the the uh, uh, the owner's wife, Mr. Chen. Uh, Mr. Chen unfortunately uh, could not join us because he was away on business. And we met a couple other people there who showed us around uh, Queenie and Esther. Now, uh, for this section of the video, I should probably be using uh, this device right here. And uh, damn. Uh, this is going to be the new Yihai SX Mini uh, G Class for good. Um, it's uh, it's kind of a stunner, guys. This has got a uh, a really bright full color screen. We got a fire button up here. We've got a Joy Tech uh, Joy Tech <laughs> Joy Stick uh, right there to get around the uh, the menu. We've got SX Mini backlit uh, on the back of the device. We have real carbon fiber on this one. Uh, this one's going to use two 18650 batteries, and uh, we'll get you up to 200 watts. Going to be a real nightmare to review this one because, in addition to everything that's going on on board with the menu, of course we have firmware upgradability. Uh, we can use the uh, the Yihai software to uh, to make changes to this device, and it's Bluetooth capable as well. So a lot going on uh, with this here piece, and I'm sure this is going to be their flagship uh, for quite some time. Now. Um, this section of the video where we actually go see uh, Yihai, it, it would probably be uh, most people's like biggest interest to see. However, it's also going to be the most disappointing uh, part of the video. Um, and, and that's because uh, Yihai, it, there's a lot of different buildings. And, and we were only able to see one building and it was late, so there was a lot, not a lot going on there. But they have buildings for uh, software development. They have buildings for design they have buildings for uh, SMT, which was be, which would be uh, surface mount technology and pick and place. You know those big machines that put the individual components on the boards really, really quick, like we saw when we went to Evolve. So they have a building that does that, and then they have a building that does um, device. Uh, what do you call it? Manufacturing, like like a device like that, and then they have the building that we went to, which is going to be offices and. Um, a manufacturing area but the manufacturing area there is just for kind of a, a, a small section of what they do uh, and this manufacturing area is just basically they solder leads on the board and they attach screens okay so uh, you know unfortunately we didn't know that going there um, but we, they were very very hospitable to us uh, they, they certainly showed us around they didn't want us to get too close with the cameras and we totally respect that but uh, hopefully, and we did talk to them about Sevilla USA as well, but uh, hopefully now, you know, we have a relationship there and maybe the next time uh, we go back, we can see some of the additional uh, Yihai facilities, but we do certainly appreciate them uh, allowing us to take a little look around. So let's take a little look around Yihai.
Oh, and by the way, I recorded a really good intro for this section of the video there at Yeehaw. Uh, and here's a little bit of it right now. And that is what happens when you give the camera to Dimitri and he forgets to turn the mic on. Damn it. And uh, and by the way, again, th this first little piece uh, you're going to see here, you know what? This is the kind of stuff that I find most interesting. Uh, because it turns out Mr. Chen, the owner of Yee Hee, is an audiophile, okay? And he has this little uh, audio lounge set up at the uh, at the, at the the facility. Uh, take a look. This Mr. Chen's uh, audio. Listen music. Oh, really? Music room, like a theater. Oh, look at this. He's, uh, He's an audiophile. Yeah. He likes music a lot, right? Mr. Yeah. Chen have uh, more than ten years to you know to do this to develop this ah. product. So he makes he made the speakers too. Look yeah. at that amp down there. I'm looking at the amp down there. All right, here, let's check this out. If Fabian goes away, Phil's gonna do a review on audio equipment afterwards. So. Wow, he is an audiophile. What's his favorite music? Chinese? Ch uh, classic. Classic? Yes. Classic. Hmm? Traditional. Tell people where Mr. Chen is now. Ah, uh, Mr. Chen this morning he fly to Highland Province because Mr. Chen is one of the member of a Highland Commission Chamber, right? Yeah. Chamber. Okay, yeah. chamber, yeah. Yeah, this morning have a very important meeting. Okay. So it's a pity that maybe next time when you visit that we can join together. Thank you. Well we're just happy you had us here this time. We really are. This is our warehouse. Warehouse, okay. Yeah. And this for electronics and um, uh, raw material. Okay. Mail yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this uh, shipping. Shipping department, okay. Because uh, uh, our product, SS Mini product, already shipped to more than 50 countries now. So here we package and then ship the parcel. Okay. And here is our very important warehouse. It's for air condition. The IC is here. Oh. We store many. Even you can see here is is. Cold. Very cold. Oh, cold. Okay. Yes. That's All the chips, the chips stay here. I see. It's a very important. I see. Expensive. I see. You know. Um, Integrated components. For EHE cheaper, the raw material some is come from the USA and from Germany. So for our more raw material is come from the international, not only from China. China. Yeah. So that's the reason we stock many important raw material to make sure if we have a big order then we can and keep the temperature control so the heat does not yeah. ruin it yeah. oh it's okay boxes and it is cooler in here can we stay there it's, it's very hot in China. <laughs> Okay, so these are all your integrated components, all your, your individual components that go into making the boards. And the, the reason why you have, you know, that much uh, stock is so that if you do get a large order, you are able to meet the, uh, the orders. Yeah. Yeah. In the production pitch, our um, production capacity is uh, 400,000. 400,000? Per month. Per month. Wow. Yeah. 400,000 boards per month. Yes, for wow. trip, only for trip. And this warehouse is uh, some, you know, the wire. Mm -hmm. is Wires is like Wires the assembly of the device. Mm -hmm. It is our software, software control department. Okay. Software, okay. What is Happy Factory? Is that your parent company? No. Yep. Oh, this is the industrial area. It's mm -hmm. called Happy Factory. Okay, so the, the entire this, industrial area, like, because there are several the, buildings. Right, all these buildings all that are here, okay. it's called the Happy Factory. Happy Factory. Everybody works here is happy. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay, are you happy? Very happy. Okay, very good. Uh, happy you didn't me. Well, well, we don't care about you, Dean. <laughs> Already on the way plane. Uh, we plan to two months to do the dust free plant. Dust free plant. Yeah. Because we will uh, improve our production line yes. for SS Mini mm -hmm. to the dust free 
plant. Okay, and that's gonna go here? Yeah, it will be available in, uh, in April this okay. year. So we're, we're probably gonna be back in April. We'll come back and see it when you have it finished. Yeah, that would be great. Sure. That would be great. So we're so this entire area we're gonna make this a, a clean room area for for chip production, dust free environment, uh, because Mr. Chen is very serious about the, the quality of his boards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe when we come back, we'll see the, the finished product. So we'll be before and after. Because we have uh, around two weeks uh, Chinese holiday, yep. and then we start to start working on yeah. this. Yeah, I okay. think around one month. Okay. <laughs> Everybody have their sleep. <laughs> sleep yeah. shoes. Yeah. Happy. Oh, those are very cute. Look yeah. at those. Oh, uh, Dimit Dimitri has the same ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thirteen production lines. Thirteen production lines. Yeah. Okay. It's a big facility. So you have a lot of room for expansion here. Yeah. So that's the reason I say the assembling people not so many, but the test people we have many right. people to test. Okay. Because you know, even now for SX series cheaper, software is a lot of job to test. So you should make sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's really three buildings in play. So the first building is going to it's going to put the individual components on the board. Then that board comes to this facility, yes. and on this facility we we, we wire the uh, the leads on. We do the wiring. We do the uh, we add the uh, the screen to yeah. the board. Okay, the screen, the boom, and the testing the happens testing. here. Testing yeah. firmware happens here. I'm sure, right? Yeah. Programming the board. Yes. And then the board goes to another factory where they actually assemble the final device. And the SMT machine and uh, SM SS Mini. Assembling is the same building. Okay. But you know, we need to do another test. Okay. That's the reason because before the product assembling, we need a test first. Right. And then put together. Okay. After assembling the product, we do another software. So, okay. many test procedures. Okay. So yeah, this is the oh surface mount technology. Okay. So we've seen this actually at the uh, the Evolve board uh, plant when we went to see Evolve, the, the fast pick and play machines or pick and place machines. Okay. So this is where the uh, the facility where the actual boards are being created, and you can, can see some of that machinery there. Neat. How many how many uh, machines do you have there? Do you know? We have uh, five. 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 Five of those. Okay. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just upgrading the boards. This is the new one, right? It's uh, SX550J. Yeah. So as we were walking around there, uh, you remember how I said that uh, they most of the companies have these holiday parties and the employees uh, get together and they do skits and dances and routines and things like that. Uh, we ran into some uh, of their employees getting ready for uh, their party and uh, Dimitri uh, took part in the action a little bit. I'm doing it right? It's good, I got you. That was good. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> he truly is a beautiful, graceful butterfly, though, isn't he? Um, well, anyway, uh, that is a uh, quick look inside of Yeehaw. Uh, we also had a wonderful dinner with them uh, that night. So thank you very much to, uh, to Carrie and to Joyce and to Esther and to Queenie. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get to meet Mr. Chen, uh, but hopefully maybe on the next trip we do get to meet Mr. Chen. Uh, maybe we get to uh, hear some of his audio system in there and uh, see some more of the Yeehaw facility. But uh, thanks very much for the look.
Okay, we're going to wrap this uh, video up with a look at one more company. And this was not planned. We had no intention of, of visiting Freemax. But this little lady right here, uh, Maggie, Maggie was persistent. She was persistent uh, in getting us to go and visit. So luckily, we, we did have uh, a, a, like a half a day uh, where we were able to go and visit with Freemax. And you know what? I'm really glad we did. I am absolutely really glad we did. Um, they kept uh, apologizing that, you know, they weren't the largest company or they weren't the biggest company and, you know, they were a small company. But you can you could see uh, the desire uh, in their eyes and, and in the things that they said to be like a, a big company, like, you know, some of the other bigger players that we've uh, we've visited with. Uh, and they were just, uh, they were so nice and so hospitable. And, you know, they showed us around and uh, them, of course, being Freemax. Now, uh, Maggie was the one who got us there. Uh, but Maggie, Linda, and then uh, th these two, these two right here. See, I'm really bad with names. You guys know that, right? But I will never forget their names because their names, their American names, right, are Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yes, uh, Tom and Jerry. So yeah, I I'm not going to forget their name. So uh, Jerry is the owner of Freemax and they showed us around the facility a little bit. So let's take a look at Freemax. We have, uh, this is for quality inspection. So yes. we put everything here. And um, here is uh, the, some kind of living room that we have well, the workers. They can you know, play. It's like a break room. Break room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Playroom, yes. Oh, that's my favorite. Can we dance here? Yeah, of course. Karaoke. Yeah, hey. Oh, I play both. Yes, I'm very good. I play this. I play this and strip poker. Yeah, Dimitri. I'm very good. Yeah. Dimitri, do you play that right there? No. <laughs> yes, I do. This is what I use in my house to hang my clothes at. <laughs> this is the advanced version. It holds both sides. You know, pants and shirt. It's like okay. hell. The difficulty is like. No, you're not. This is fast. Look at this. Look at this. So, this is a. Uh Jerry's office. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. Jerry's office? Yeah. Okay, so this is the boss's office right here. We have a lot of uh, patents. C and um, Femex brand. Everything. Yep. This, by the way, guys, is an excellent starter piece. That's the uh, Dimitri version. Okay, so this room here? Just the general office. Hello. Hi. Hello. This is my business office. Hello. Hello. Oh, she's playing uh, Counter Strike guy. Yeah. This your office? Yeah. yeah. I'm here. That one over there? Yeah. So this is sales? Yeah. yeah. Business department. There it is. Yeah. This your office too? Yeah. So I know. These are all the uh, raw materials, Maggie? No, you're in the video. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 come on, come on, come on. So what's in here? This is all the raw materials? Okay. This is all the raw materials that come in. You can see, like, here's the coils that go inside the um, the, uh, oh, the tanks. tanks. Yeah, b before they're assembled. Here, this was, that's how I found, found this really interesting. See the dual, dual parallel builds on the mm -hmm. coils. About 0.35 resistance. Yeah, this is where all the materials come in and then they, they assemble them to make the final tanks. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember on my Facebook a couple years ago we had the conversation and it's still here, the i320, one of the best mouth lung tanks in my opinion. It's unfortunate that it didn't get popular in the United States so hopefully they'll be able to put a 510 connection on it, maybe make the tank a little bit bigger but well, it actually does have a 510 connection, but it's the Ego. It's, it's the, the Ego threaded, absolutely, right, right. yes, yes. So, but you can't use it on other batteries. You need an adapter, and I think that's right. a big turnoff for a lot of the right. people. Because if you take this tank with a 510 connection and put it like an iStick 20 watt or an iStick 30 it's watt, a it's combo. a great combo yeah. Yeah. and very, very inexpensive for a starter kit. So I wish more of the vape shops in the United States would start carrying these products to get more people off cigarettes. So you can see some of the production here at Freemax. So 
So here we have the final ceramic coil for this tank. And this is the Freebax Star 4 tank. Okay, Freemax. Oh, Free yeah. Max. Free Max. So, Linda, why, why are you so happy? Tell Phil tell, tell, tell why you're so very why happy. Why are you so happy, Linda? Mm, because I, I, I met uh, Dan, Phil, Dan, and Timothy. So See? I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy today. Oh, yeah. thank you. Okay, today we met Fia, uh, Dimitri, and Dan together, and we really want to thank you, thank, thank you Dan for coming to Freemax, and we really want to thank those who uh, use Freemax Paradise. Thank you for your supporting, and this is Jerry, the boss of uh, Freemax. Thank you so much for supporting of Freemax. Thank you so much. Okay. Have we even had a vape in this video? I don't even know. Let's have a vape. In this case, on the uh, the Yeehaw uh, G class with a uh, Digi Flavor Siren that I love so much on it. So that's kind of it, guys. Uh, that's a look at the uh, the China January two thousand and seventeen trip in a, in a one hour nutshell. Um, I want to sincerely thank uh, all of the companies that that do allow us to uh, to come in and to film and to take. Uh, time out of their days to uh, to meet with us. Uh, those companies being Inikin, Smoke Aspire, Yeehaw, uh, Segeli, and Freemax. In this case, um, they uh, you know, it, it probably wouldn't be a, a complete uh, China video without at least talking about uh, the food a little bit because we are treated uh, really well and we uh, certainly do appreciate that. Uh, we get some really interesting meals, some really interesting food. Um, in this case, probably one of the most challenging things uh, that that I, I tried anyway. Because see, like I'm Mikey uh, when it comes to uh, Dimitri and Dan. Uh, it's like let Phil try it first, and then he can report on whether or not we should try it too. Um, so uh, jellyfish uh, with Inikin that was uh, that was a challenge. Um, it doesn't taste like a whole lot, but oh, texturally, it's uh, really kind of interesting. Uh, so jellyfish. And then uh, with, with Freemax at lunch, uh, which was a, a very, very fun lunch, uh, uh, Dimitri um, broke the nutcracker. <laughs> you broke the nutcracker? You broke the nutcracker? How did you break the nutcracker? It's made in China. <laughs> you made a nice joke. It's made in China. This is unbelievable. Look at that. I'm, I'm very strong like Wow, bull. you're strong like bull. What? The yeah. laughter heard round that table when Dimitri yelled out, uh, made in China. Even Tom yelled out, made in China, haha. <laughs> um, that, I love that. I Because if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? And we'll leave you here with one more little food clip. Uh, once again, we'll let Mikey try it. Yeah. So, uh, hey folks, P. Bizarro. Mm -hmm. It's like Bizarre Foods Shenzhen, and I just want you to know that the man behind the camera, Mr. Dimitri over there, he, this is what he does. He makes me do everything. He makes me try everything. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going for, let's say we did jellyfish uh, before. That mm -hmm. was uh, not good. That was, yeah. it, was, it was a challenge. But uh, we are going for uh, duck head today. This is our, my buddy right here. Oh, the little duck head. Okay. Um, Daffy, I've called call him. Uh, Daffy, Daffy works. Uh, uh -huh. Donald. Uh huh. Donald, yes, absolutely. Daffy, yes, Donald. yes, yes. Uh, so we will be uh, trying some duck head, and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to go in. Where the <laughs> best <laughs> place to bite a duck head? I think probably the not back. the beak. The beak probably would not be the best. No, place to no, bite, it would not okay? be. I think Somebody you need to go back to the, the No, the, the cheek. The cheek, cheek is usually safe. So, the cheek, and I, by the way, I heard that this duck head is very spicy. So as as they say in bizarre foods, you know, if it looks good, if eat it looks it. good, eat it. That's right. Uh, and, and just just for the record, just for the record. Dan said no. Yes. Dimitri said no. I'm, I'm holding the camera. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah this is just some bullshit right there. That's all right. Here we go. We're, we're going in right by the cheek. Right by the cheek. Okay. Here we go. Duckhead. That's what's for dinner. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, right on. The, oh, right on the cheek. It's just evil cheek. I look at the dark. All right, Peter. It's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's going in for doubles. Get some of the brain in the middle. I don't think there is brain. Yeah, there is. Okay, oh, open it up oh, there. Oh, there is. The oh, oh god, you don't want to eat that. That's, no, that's pepper. Okay. Yeah, that, that's spicy. Thank god you do that. <laughs> You're supposed to eat it. Not, not molest it. <laughs> It's yeah. good. He's a man. That's why. Not you. Not no, like you. It's very good. Meal record. I'm not sure what that part is right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah. It's very good. Good. It's very good. Dude, you are so okay. <laughs> and it was, they were, they were spicy. My lips like tingled for like a half an hour after that. And you know, a lot of people will look at that uh, video or look at some of the things that we eat. Like, Ew, yeah, you know, how could you do that? But you know what? That is their culture and I will respect their culture the same way I would want them to respect our culture uh, when they are here. That is it. That is the end of this video. I hope you found some of it interesting. Take it away, ladies. Thank you for watching. And see you again, see you again soon. soon. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Good Okay. Good job. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Good. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I taste your juice?